today we'll learn five of the most easiest footwork shuffle steps you'll ever find in this dance. They're very simple and fast to learn. The first step we're going to see is a crisscross. So to get started, we open our feet aligned to our shoulders and this will be the intermediate position. And from here, we cross one. Now we open again and cross with the other leg now. Two and one and two. Repeat with me and one and two. Okay, now we come back here. We'll need to balance our weight properly. So make sure your body is exactly in the middle in between the two legs, nor more to one side or to the other leg, just in the middle. So the weight is same in both legs. So you're here in the middle and when you cross, you wanna keep your weight in the middle too, because you'll have the control. So you need to find they have a good balance here. And from here we open and we do the same when we cross. And one and two and one and two. If you feel that you don't know what to do with your arms, you can cross the contrary arm every time you cross. So crossing the right, left arm, crossing the left, right arm. And now to get it up to speed, the crisscross and all the footwork is double tempo. So it's going to be really fast and you might have to practice this a little bit more. So here is going to be our intermediate position, as I said at the beginning. And to get it on beat, it will be and one. So in the numbers is where the beat, the kick is going to be. Boom and clap and boom and clap. We'll speed it up progressively. So start slowly with me and we'll speed it up. Okay. And boom clap and boom and clap one two three four five six seven and one two three four five six seven eight faster one two three four five six seven eight all the footwork steps will be very fast when they're done on beat so have a little bit of patience learn the technique and the movements right and your weight placement right and the speed will come with time the second step we'll be seeing today is the heel and toe so to get started, we're going to put our toes looking in, okay? So it's like a, an inverted V. And to start doing the step, we're going to pivot with our heel outside and here pivot in our toe to the inside. So when I'm moving to my right, in that case, my right foot is going to open the toe, pivoting on the heel, and my left one is going to be bringing the heel in and pivoting on the toe. So we're here in this inverted V. So when you look down, you have to see like if you were seeing a triangle like this. And from here we do one and come back. Now the same to the other side. So opening, pivoting with the heel like this, bringing the toe out and here bringing the heel in, pivoting on the toe. So we're here and two. Come back in and one and two and one and two and one and two. One and two, one and two, and one and two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Here, your weight will always be staying in the middle. So, what you want to do is don't move like the upper part of your body. You're not going to move it around. You're going to remain it on the same spot. And when you change the feet here, you're going to transition the weight to the other leg. So your weight is always staying in this line, imagine there's a straight line here. Your body is staying here. Now my weight is on my right. When I come here, it's proportionally on both, 50-50. And now when I open, wheel transition to my left. So I have control over my weight. And when I do it fast, I will have the control. So that's about the weight. And for speed, it is getting the technique right and doing the same here. This is the intermediate position. So, and boom, and clap and boom and clap and boom and clap and boom clap boom clap boom clap boom clap a little bit faster boom clap boom clap boom clap boom clap the third step we're going to see is the w step i'm not a big fan of labeling steps i'll tell you a bit about this later but this one consists in crossing so we'll start here crossing like if you were doing crisscross so to get started, you're just crossing. This is our first position. Then the second one will be like the one we were doing in the heel toe. So we'll be coming here. So we need to have our feet aligned, like not one in front of the other. When we cross, one is in the front, the other is in the back. When we do the next move, 
both are aligned and once we're here we're going to open both toes pivoting on the heels boom and here is the here's the final position then from here we'll come back and we can cross with the same leg or with the other leg i'll cross with the other and we finish here one important thing that you need to know about footwork is that you can do them hopping like doing these little jumps and every time you do the little jump the little hop you're moving or changing the technique of your feet or you can do them dragging like what is called shuffling too which means that your feet will be in contact with the floor all the time but to do the footwork i'd recommend you to try hopping because you're going to be faster you will avoid friction and you'll see that you can get the technique cleaner because you have less friction and you will be able to just place your feet exactly at the position you need at the speed that requires which as i said in footwork it's fast so double your step we start we do a little hop we cross one we're going to be hitting the beat when we cross so boom and clap and boom now the other leg and we do the same and we open again clap the only thing that can change here is what we cross crossing first the right or the left but the rest the n two and one that's exactly the same so we're here two now we come in and now across the right one and two and one and two and one you'll see that what you're doing is slowly maybe it's a little bit hard to maintain the your both toes up standing on your heels here it's a bit easier here it's a little bit easier too but in shuffling it happens a lot of times since it's a very fast paced dance you'll see that doing it slowly sometimes it's even more difficult than doing it on tempo in terms of balance and be able to maintain your position so don't worry you'll see that when you start speeding it up a lot of problems might disappear not all of them but some of them they will now let's bring it up to speed i'll cross after the eight count so five six seven and one and two 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 one and two one clap boom clap boom clap boom clap if you want to do something with the arms there's many people that when they cross they just cross the arms too when they're here they have their elbows out and when they open their toes and pivot on the heels they also hit with the arms out so you can practice this arm work too but don't make it a must every time you do the w step and i just feel the need to share a fact with you right now and it's that did you know that 70 percent of the people who watch my youtube videos are not subscribed <laughs> so that doesn't make any sense i would like to drop this percentage to zero so consider subscribing it only takes one click is one second let's continue step number four it's the scissors you might also know this step as switchblade i don't know where all these names come from it just doesn't make any sense to me so i know out there there's shuffle instructors who just start putting names and labeling things all the time because they need to teach that in chorus and they need to have names for all the steps so please don't put names to all the steps because there's some i know there are steps that have five different names for the same exact step so that doesn't make any sense at all so just please learn how to break down the step and explain it and just don't start labeling everything because if not, it'll be a chaos for everybody. Not for the people who, us, who we already know shuffling, but for the people learning, maybe people who were, who is watching this video, they might start going crazy. And I had some students ask me about names of steps a lot of times, and it's just such a headache for them. And then for us, the teachers who have to explain why this is happening. So please, if you're teaching shuffle to some friends or to some students, don't just start inventing names because the only thing that's actually doing is creating more confusion for the next years. But scissors right now. So to get started, we're going to have one leg in the front, the other leg in the back, and we'll have this orientation shift. So we'll be looking diagonally. Like imagine there is, you have like an X here on your floor. So you will be just online so you're going to have your front foot on your heel and your back one flat foot or a little bit more on the toe so you'll get the control there and pretty much the whole weight will be balanced in the back leg and from here we'll switch maintain the same position of the feet but change to the other like line of the x and once here we'll switch our feet but maintain this this alignment and now you're going to rotate to the other line and maintaining the same distance, the same alignment in our feet. And from here, we switch again and one and two 
and three and four. To do this step faster and on beat, we just need to make sure that we're hitting the beat when we're switching the orientation. So the first move here, it will be the and one and two and three and four. So now we'll go a little bit faster. We're going to progressively speed it up as we did with the other steps. So and one and two and one and two and one two one two remember hopping one two one two one two one two one two one two two things here about the upper body that you might have problems or maybe are thinking should i keep my body and my face looking to the front or should i be switching the orientation up to you if you find that right now for starting it's easy for you to stay just with your body looking at the front and you're just switching the legs. You see, I'm still looking at the camera and the step looks good anyways. But then I can also try to face both directions at the same time than doing the step and it will look good too. So I'm doing and one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. And it looks good anyways. So your body pretty much will be switching around it's very important what do you do with your shoulders. So if you want to switch, make sure you're, you're helping with your shoulders. You see that when you start moving your shoulders to spinning and rotating becomes way easier. So have the shoulders in mind too. And that's the fourth step and let's go with the fifth one. So the fifth one itself, it doesn't have a name, but it's a toe switch. So I'll just call it toe switch. No invented names, no anything, just what it is. A toe switch. So our weight, we're going to start putting, I put it in my, in my left leg. I'll put a toe in my right, make sure, try to have your foot as vertical as you can so the step will look cleaner. And from here, you'll switch to normal flat foot. And at the same time, simultaneously, you will hit with the other leg on the toe and try to have it as vertical as possible. So it looks clean, it will look very cool. So you're switching from here to here. One and two and three and four. It doesn't matter which leg you start with. It's a very fast move. It's a very fast footwork. So it doesn't matter you start one and two and three and four, or you start with the other one and two and three and four. When it's done fast, it'll look exactly the same. The only thing it will be your transition point, maybe here or maybe in the other one, depending on which leg you started first. So let's bring this toe switch up to speed. So we'll start one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It's a step that only by itself, it looks a little bit repetitive and it's not very dynamic, I would say. So it's more a step that you want to throw in to do an one, two, three, four, and maybe go to another thing or only one, two, and go to another footwork step. So for example, you could mix it up with the scissors we did before. So maybe you are one and two and, and here, instead of switching, you go toe. And since you already had your weight here, it's very easy to throw in because it's only switching from the heel. You'll pivot here a little bit to be looking straight and you'll pop, touch, tap with the toe. And here you can switch to the other one. You can come back, two, you can go and three and come back to the scissors. That's an example. And for the toe switch, you could do it hopping. So every time you do a switch, you do a little hop. Or you can do it dragging, shuffling, which is that your feet never get up from the ground. They always in contact with the floor. So it'll be more like this versus the hopping version, which is a little bit more, more jumpy, maybe it's a little bit more groovy. This one, it may look smoother if you're playing with slides, but that's totally up to you. Note that you can do both. And for starting, just do the one that it gets you moving faster and the one that you find easier. That's it for this video. My name is Marvi. Consider subscribing if you're interested in learning more about professional shuffling. And I'll see you in this video right here. Bye.